Hey everybody, Cynthia here. Let me just adjust my camera. Okay, I'm back to share with you three paper bag mini albums. They're Halloween themed. And I use the celebrated paper sacks that are 4.7 inches by 2.8 by 8.9. I, I purchased these at Michael's and they are in where they sell um, their paper bag products and tissue paper. They're in that aisle, if that is any help. Um, also, I used some of the paper collection from Frankie and Friends by Simple Stories, and I had picked it up on clearance. And really, really cute papers. I'll just kind of scan by them quick. I used a, a bunch of papers from this paper pack kit and some stickers, and they had a bunch of cutouts that I used as well. And then I also used some papers I had in my stash, single sheets from um, K and Company papers. I've had for quite a while. I miss K and Company. I miss them so much. But anyway, I was able to make three um, paper bag albums, which I love. Paper bag albums are so fun to make. Um, and they, when I folded them up and cut them, they measure approximately four and a quarter by four and three quarters. Hi. They all are bound by tool ribbon, and I have orange fun fur, black fun fur, I have some green tool. I also made beaded charms for all of them. This one has a purple skull on the top, and one of those tokens, skeleton tokens from Tim Holtz hanging from it. And this is the cover of this one. It has a ribbon closure. Isn't it cute? That's Kane Company. This is Kane Company. Um, I had a lot left over in my stash. The bats that you see here have some glimmer to them. I used a Martha Stewart punch for that. And the stuff's popped up on Pop Dots. So that's the front cover of this one. They're mostly generally the same. Here's the front cover of this one that says, Where's the Candy? Same thing, bound with tulle and fun fur. Oh, sorry. And here's a beaded charm that I made with a white skull bead and just some other random beads I had in my stash. And then it has some K and Company candies. Where's the candy? They're all popped up on Pop Dots for Dimension. A pumpkin, and then I put a witch's hat on that and it's bound with ribbon. So what I'm gonna do is go through one of these and then they're pretty similar, um, the papers. Um, I'll scan through them quick for you though, but same thing, bound. Here is this beaded charm here. I love this um, paper front cover here. Two Kane Company bats, it says trick or treat. I'm gonna open it up. Each paper bag has a pocket that you can put in extra photographs and they also have extra pullouts and I use the um, Martha Stewart Bat Punch for my pull tabs. Okay, and then here's this page here. I made a banner paper clip and tucked behind it is a journal spot. It says Happy Halloween to you and boo on the other side. Nice area for a photo. And then over here is a pocket. There's a tab, these little scary spooky eyes. And then there's a tab here for journaling. And then inside the pocket I tucked in two more tags and um, for journaling and photographs. It's just a small pocket, and then you could put a photo here if you wanted. And then here's the next two pages. This one I made a belly band. It says trick or treat. It's tucked in that journal card there. And then over here I have a Kane Company dimensional skeleton head, and it's added on there so you could pop a photo behind it. And then this one has one of those side pockets. It's a pull out.
Okay, so there's a theme going through all of it. You have your page and then pocket and then two pages and then a page and then the side pocket with a Martha Stewart pumpkin sticker there and then two little tags tucked in the pocket. Okay, you can put a little photo here, nice area for a photo there. And then we have two pages. This one has a corner pocket. I love this little wedge, isn't it cute? And it has Creepy Tales journal card and the Boo Crew tucked in there. This page says ghouls just want to have fun. And we got another side pocket to pull out for extra photos. And we have another side pocket page here. This spooky haunted house is on dimensionals behind there. Foam. Another banner clip with a bat from Martha Stewart Punch. Another journal card area for a photo. And then I have two little tags, journal cards tucked in for extra photos and journaling. And then this page here has like a side belly band from a Martha Stewart punch. And then I tucked in that one. And then behind here is a witch's boot on this page that you can put a photo on behind that's hand stamped. And then these here, I made these last year, I think. Um, can't remember. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, but I used for the buttons here on her boots. I use the Beads in a Bottle by Tulip. You can get these at Joann's. Um, I've also seen them at Michael's. And then another side pocket here. With another pullout. And the last two pages here. A nice big area for a photo. Side pocket and two of these little tags tucked in there and then that is the back of this one okay so they're pretty much all same thing same theme little different stickers are a little different here and there side pocket okay photos are pretty much mats are the same here's this guy here frankenstein and boo and then the side pocket with the two tabs. And then over here I have a witch's boot and a belly band and a journal card tucked in. And then another side pocket with a pull out. Okay, so they're a little different, but pretty much the same. Kept them like the same theme. With a side pocket, Kane Company Ghost on there, a nice area for a photo and the two pull out tabs or tags and then a corner pocket with Frankenstein and the little stars and here's another pull out card there okay and then another banner clip and a wicked tag and a pocket with a spider on it and these two pages here with the side belly band and trick-or-treat And then this is a handmade embellishment with a spider sticker and those beads in a bottle again and another pull out pocket. And then this is the last page of this one. It's this little handmade embellishment I made. Okay, and then same thing goes for this one. And there's these are in my currently in my store. So there's in there, there's pictures individually of each album if you want to check them out a little closely, a little more closely. I will post a link below to my store. Um, another banner tag or banner clip and pull out. Side pocket, place for journaling. Another belly band with a journal card. Nice area for a photo, side pocket, the pull out tab, and photo mat. Nice area for a photo, side pocket, got the two tags again, 
And then the corner pocket was a ghost and journal spot or a photo spot, whatever you choose. And then a nice pull out mat again. And we got Frank over here and another banner clip. And another side pocket says, I have Newt and Toa Frog. And then has the journal cards and tags there. And another side belly band. Cutest spook ever. That's so cute. And then there's a handmade embellishment down here. And this one was made for me by Irene at Crafty Irena. Hi, Irene. And another pull out. And like I said, the back pocket, the bats, that's on dimensionals, and nice area for a photo with two more pullouts. So it's a lot of nice room for photos and tags. And then you have the paper bag pockets for extra photos and journaling. So each one of these are currently in my store. If you're interested, I will post a link below. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Take care.